Some people think your success is measured by the amount of intelligence you have. Life has taught me it's not about that. It's about working hard towards your goal, never quitting until you get there. Don't stop till you get there. Let's pass. Hello, hope you guys are having a great day. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, kind of a little frustration I have with the universe. Uh, when people know you're good in math, they start, um, for some reason, they send me these type of exercises in Facebook. They send me this and they send me this and then they're asking, hey, teacher, how do you do it? How do you solve this? Uh, this guy has it wrong. This guy has it wrong. And for some reason, they want me to give them a math class through Facebook. So I, the, the, the frustrating part is um, they keep sending it every week. I, I swear to God, every week I get these type of messages um, from former students when I was a high school teacher, um, from former students when I tutored uh, for the SAT, for the SATs, from students for the ASVAB uh, that I tutor uh, in present day. Um, anyways, and I, I want to talk about this because... It's a little frustrating because I take the time to send the steps. I take the time to send evidence. I, I send them pictures of the rule and people just don't read it. Uh, let's first solve it and then talk a little bit about the rule and then um, you can go to your conclusions. If you're one of my students, do what I'm saying. If you're not one of my students and still think what I'm saying is incorrect, it's okay, but investigate. Don't ask your friend who was good in math in high school or who took math classes. If you still have doubts with this, go to a respected mathematician in a university or in a high school if you're really that curious. The problem is people don't do that. People just ask their friend who took class like 12 years ago. He probably learned it wrong or forgot about the rule. But let's talk about it. Let's start with this one. Uh, normally it would say, people say 16, people say 1. If you can get it right, you're a genius. Not really. If you can get it right, you learned a rule, uh, a very simple rule that people confuse. First, let's talk about PEMDAS, parenthesis, exponents, multiplication, division, add, subtract. The problem here for people is that they don't understand what parenthesis means, some people. It doesn't mean any parenthesis you see. When, when it says parenthesis, it means operation inside of a parenthesis. That is what parenthesis actually means. Operation inside of the parenthesis is the first thing we should do. After you do operation inside of a parenthesis, let's start doing it. Eight divided by two, times 2 plus 2 equal whatever. Okay, so that's the equation, uh, well, not the equation, the, the expression they're giving us. Um, we do first operation inside of the parenthesis. So that's the first step you should do. You lower this, you lower this, you lower this, and now you solve the operation inside of the parenthesis. You have to actually add 2 plus 2, 4. And now here's where people get confused. Um, some people, there's no exponent. You can't do exponents. Now, when you're in multiply or divide function, like that, when you're in that step, people think because the M is first in the, in the, in the rule, they say, oh, first you have to multiply. No, they're on the same level. They're equally important. Mathematicians decided and unanimously agree that you have to do multiplication or division. The first one you see when you're on that step. So after you do all the other steps, you're in multiply or divide. It's like when you read. Think about it as when you read. You don't read this way. You read from left to right. From left to right. So because this in this one, in this one, we have first a division. We first divide. 8 divided by 2. 4. We lower this. And at the end, we 4 times 4, 16. So now I'm going to demonstrate it to you. First off, uh, um, I'm going to go to some, a place called mathway.com. It's a place where you can pay and they show you the steps of how to do it. The free version, they just give you the correct answer. I'm going to write the equation. 8 divided by 2 times 2. Okay. 8 divided 2. Is it like that? 8 divided 2. Parenthesis 2 plus 2. Parenthesis 2 plus 2. Now, the problem is you're going to see it's going to say 16 and then people say, oh, mathway.com has an error. Okay, so I have an error that I, I, I do this for a living and mathway.com has an error that it's a website where people pay to use and Google is also going to have an error when I Google the, the rule. So that's a problem. People just say, investigate. If you think there's an error, investigate, research, go talk to 
some professor in a university. It's not that hard. Or go to a respected mathematician, not your friend who took math 10 years ago and you think is good. It, 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 go, yeah, it's a little bit frustrating because people, you take the time to do this video and there's still going to be people in the comments saying, ah, mathway.com has an error. That, that hasn't, there, no error, bro. That's, that's, that, that's, you believe what you want to believe, but look, it says it right there. Okay, and then let's read the rule. Just simply write, simply write, what goes first, multiply or divide? Just a simple search, simple search. Let's see what's the first thing that pops up. The order of operations required that all multiplication and division be performed first. Let's read carefully. Going, going from left to right in the expression. The order in which you compute multiplication and division is determined is determined by which one comes first. Google's Google's also wrong, so I'm wrong. Mathway's wrong, and Google's wrong. Maybe you should investigate a little bit more, right? So keep on researching in Google. It's just going to keep on saying the same thing. But, you know, people believe what they want to believe, you know? So demonstrated at 16. If you're one of my students... It's 16. Another day, another day, if first you see the multiplication, if first you see something like this, uh, let's say it's whatever. I don't know, whatever, really doesn't matter. Then in this, you first see the multiplication, you would multiply first. I'm not saying multiplication, that division is more important than multiplication or vice versa, they're equally important. When you're on that step, it's from left to right, the first one you see. Okay, I don't want to be redundant. Let's go to the next exercise. So you have this. We already deter we already went to Google and saw the rule. So we're going to follow the rule. Now, the error with this one that a lot of people make is that they think this is a parenthesis. Yes, technically it is a parenthesis, but you're not understanding. The, the rule says when they say pandas, the, the P stands for operation inside of a parenthesis. And there's no operation inside of the parenthesis. There's none. There's, there's no operation inside of the parenthesis. So that is not going to be done. This is a multiplication. This is viewed as a multiplication. A number next to a parenthesis is viewed as to a multiplication. Exponents, there is an exponent, 6 exponent 2. The exponent tells you how many times you multiply the base by itself. 6 times 6, 36. So we lower this. We did the exponent. Divide 2 times 3 plus 4. Now we have to go to multiplication or division from left to right, the first one that you see. So this is a multiplication and this is a division. Which one am I seeing first? 36 divided by 2. So that's what you have to do first. 36 divided by 2 is 18. You lower this and you lower this. Now. I'm seeing the multiplication next, so 18 times 3, 3 times 8, 24, carry the 2, 3 times 1, 3, plus 2, 5, and now you got to your answer. The last step would be add and subtract. Okay, so now, now we're going to demonstrate it with the mathway.com. Okay, let's, uh, let me, 6 exponent 2, 6 exponent 2, 6 exponent 2, divide 2 times 3, 2 times 3, uh, okay, 2, parenthesis, let's put the parenthesis exactly like it's over there, and then at the end, a plus 4. And now, mathway.com, just hit here, enter, and it'll solve it. And it'll say it's 58 and they're since it's the free version i guess they're trying to give me a sponsorship thing okay you gotta get your money bro okay so 58 is the answer um so to view the steps you would have to actually have the paid version um 58 58 so again this is this is a software that people pay to use it's not just anything you know it's because people will be like oh i think there's an error in the software Softwares can have errors, but it's more likely that you didn't learn the rule correctly. If you took class 10 years ago, 
you probably didn't learn correctly. You could have forgotten. But again, um, if you're one of my students, just listen to me, learn the rule. It's from left to right. Google said it pretty, pretty clear right here. If you think multiplication or multiplication always goes before division, find a book that says that. You're not going to find one unless you write one. <laughs> um, again, please don't debate. If you, Don't fight with people over this. At the end of the day, it's one simple exercise. Don't start insulting people over this silly thing. Um, and uh, anytime a person, I made this video, so anytime a person asks me personally, hey, Fernando, how do you do that? I'll just send them the video and I'll save myself some time and some headache. Um, but at the end of the day, a lot of people are not gonna view the video completely. They are not, they're still gonna think their friend who took math 10 years ago knows how to do it. Um, but yeah, if, if you have doubts with something, again, if you really are curious about this, it's not going to affect your life in any way, but research in Google, research and write multiplication and division common error or write, do your research or go to a, a professor who is renowned like in a university or in a campus and ask him about this rule. Um, yeah. Anyways, people have a great day and, uh, take care. Thanks for your time.